I want to talk a little bit about it today. Um, what year was it when you got, was it 2010 when you got hurt up at Grace Harbor? Yeah, it was 2010, yep. It was 2010. I was there. Um, if I, my memory serves me correct, you wheel hop Shane Stewart. Is that right? Yep. Yep. And, and listen, that was a tough time in your life right then. Uh, I, I want to go back because, to be honest with you, you weren't sure that you were ever going to drive a race car again. You weren't even sure if you were going to be able to keep your leg at that time. And uh, I know our good friends over at the Steve King Foundation stepped in and helped you a little bit. I want to talk about the Steve King Foundation and what they meant to you when you were going through that tough time with your leg. Well, I'll tell you right now, they do a great job. And they were actually special to me. I was, I'm was i shocked. I, I still, to this day, do not know how it worked out. But I was hurt on Saturday. Yep. And Sunday morning, there was a... I don't remember. If, I mean, listen, I was on a lot of medication at that point, but yeah. I can't remember if it was a thousand dollars cash. I'm pretty sure it was a thousand dollars cash showed up at the hospital and it was for my wife and my daughter for incidentals for being there for food or whatever they needed. Mm-hmm. Now you tell me how those guys did that, but it was pretty amazing. And <laughs> not just the financial reasons, but you know, they just really look after their, their racers and, and uh, anytime they need me for anything, I'm I'm right there for them. And they, you know, there's donations. And if they ever need me for anything, uh, all they got to do is pick up the phone. But for the most part, they are. It's just an awesome group that they're just taking care of the injured drivers because yeah. you know a lot of us, or I shouldn't say a lot of us, but there's a lot of race car drivers that don't have any income other than racing, or uh, you know they have, don't have insurance that covers it or whatever. But uh, they're, they're awesome. I don't even know how else to say it other than, uh, you know, they are great people and, and they do a lot for our sport for the injured drivers. Didn't they, didn't they help your wife and, and your child fly to the Pacific Northwest as well, if I'm not mistaken? No, I don't think they helped with any of that because, like I say, they, they left in the middle of the night. I mean, I was heard at, you know, 10 o'clock and yeah. they were on a flight like 4 o'clock in the morning. I don't think there was ever any, any of that, but uh, they definitely stepped up and you know, help with lots of things. Uh, yep. You know, I, I don't know the numbers, but they sent us money all the time. And heck, even when I got back in the car, uh, probably too early, but went back to race and a check showed up after I'd already ran a race. And I think I ran a race at Devil's Ball. And then the next week I got a check from them and, and I didn't feel right. So I sent it back and they were like, no, you know, that's yours. I'm like, no, I'm already back to work. I don't need it anymore. Right. But yeah, no, they're great people. And, and, I can't say enough about them. I mean, and there's lots of, lots of behind the scenes that nobody knows there, but, uh, Danette, I can't remember. I think her name is Danette. Yeah. Danette. And Danette does a great job and she works her butt off. And I know there's a lot more people than just Danette, but you know, uh, they do a great job. And I tell you, Steve was a great racer and he was, you know, her, and that's her brother. And I think they just, they're doing it all for a great cause. How well did you know, Steve? I knew Steve pretty well uh raced quite a bit with him and and uh had some had some pretty fun times you know at, you know away from the races with him and and uh just was a great dude you know just gone way too soon yeah no doubt about it uh, talk about that after your accident I, I just want your mindset how that had to be kind of depressing for you to not know exactly what your future was in racing did, were you, was that a depressing time for you during that time? Oh, definitely. You know, it was it was depressing because not not only did I think my career was over, but mm-hmm. I didn't know what I was going to do next for work or, you know, I didn't know if I was going to be able to walk again. Right. So there was a lot of things, you know, that, that uh, went through my mind and there was definitely some depression. And, you know, the first thing that they, they do at the at the hospital is give you pain medicine to make you really don't even know who you are. And yeah. there was just, a, it was just a, a challenging time for sure. And we just, you know, the good Lord looked after me and, and got me past that time in my life. And, and, uh, I don't look back at it. I can tell you that. Was there ever a time when the doctors told you that you might lose your leg? Was there, it was, was that ever discussed? Yeah, it was the first day after surgery. Uh, 
you know, it was touch and go and, and my foot was still black as all get out and they didn't know if, if it was going to take and, you know, it was going to actually work. But after three or four days, uh, it started to get color back and, and the doctor was pretty, pretty sure that we were in good shape and, and then, and then just accelerated after that. And, and I worked really hard at, at, at trying to get it strong and get it back to flexibility and, you know, I still work on it to this day. We're we're twelve years later, and I still I still don't have the flexibility that I had beforehand. But I'm also able to walk and do a lot of things that I wasn't sure I was going to get to do. Yeah, well, that had to be a, a scary time in life, you know, especially for a person that's a professional race car driver, not knowing exactly what their future is going to be. Um, you know, I was there. That was a terrible weekend, really, to be honest with you. We lost Travis Perez that weekend, and we all know about the accident off the racetrack that him and Travis had, and that was just – it was just a horrible weekend that weekend, wasn't it? Yeah, it definitely was. You know, I don't know what was in the air out there, if it was a full moon or what. But, yeah. you know, and then the uh, midget guy was actually hurt, you know, the race before me. Oh, that's bad. right. So yeah, yeah. It was uh, it was a pretty crazy time, but – uh, I try not to think about it too much. <laughs> yeah, but the great thing about it, when you came back to Grace Harbor the next year, you picked up the victory. Well, what was that? Yeah. What was that sensation like? Coming back to the track where you nearly lost your leg, and pick up the win. What was that like? Well, I just you know I wanted to go back there because I wanted to basically. I, I mean, I guess I could say it because I think we're on the internet, but. I wanted to prove myself and, and beat the, beat that bitch that was trying to beat me. And, yep. and, uh, I, I was just, I just had a, I was just really super focused to get back there and win at that racetrack and basically show that, you know, that it wasn't going to go it wasn't going to take my career away from me.